So I'm here with Antonio. He's from Spain, but he has a history with this vehicle. This is a championship vehicle. It won a race yesterday. It broke a track record yesterday. And today it's going to hopefully win another race and hopefully win another track record. So Antonio is going to give us a little tour of what this vehicle is and what it entails. Antonio. So this is the Renault RSO1 of Franklin Bootram. And I can talk to you about the steering wheel buttons of this machine. So we start on the left, there are four buttons. One is for the radio to talk to the crew back in the pit lane. This is for flashing the lights when you are behind another car that is slower and you want to pass, you flash your lights. This is for when it rains, for the wiper. Um, the gears, it's, this car has got a centrifugal clutch, so you have to push this button to get the car rolling and start increasing or decreasing the gears. On the other side is a pit limiter that controls the speed of the car when in going through the pits. A spare button that we don't use currently. Rain light uh, is mandatory in circuits when rain is coming and the uh, race director declares that the wet track you have to have the lights on and a rain light in the back. This is common with F1 car, so everyone also has rain light. And this final button is to change the screens. Uh, so the driver can look at the lap times and the lap time delta of his best lap versus the current lap and then when there is a problem uh, engineers like me can ask data to the driver of can you go to the diagnostics screen and tell me what you are seeing so the driver can go back to us and understand we need to pit or we can continue running um, the final three uh, Switches are to control the ABS, uh, the anti-lock brake system, so the car understands when the wheels are locking up and there are different settings from uh, being completely down to the driver to control that and get more or less assistance depending if the race is wet or dry. That applies the same for traction control, so the car is helping the driver to not give all the horsepower onto the wheels directly and just making sure that the car is the wheels are not spinning and the final one are four different maps uh, on the engine depending also on the conditions so one of them is for diagnostics only the others are for race on dry conditions and wet conditions so that's pretty much it then all the rest uh, is done to the driver Yeah, what do you think?